Not quite as high scoring as yesterday's game tonight, but still pretty exciting. Welcome to the Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. Can't be the only one who was disappointed by Tim's small wagers on his daily doubles. Could have put it away with that Morocco clue, but it was a category that he didn't feel comfortable with, and it showed when he got Berbers wrong. In fact, that's going to let Brian back into it. Brian barely has more than the difference between Tim and Shayna. They are separated by 8,500. Brian has a little bit more than that, so he's in. Shayna obviously has to double up to have a chance to beat Tim. So two big wagers. And uh, Tim, I mean, he could go larger than whatever the lockout is. It was at 48, so 39.01. He could wager up to, I don't know, 8,500, 8,499, just to force Shayna to get it right. And he could even wager more if he wants to. Roll the dice a little bit. So pen names. There's only a few I can think of, but uh, Reginald Dwight. That'd be fun. That's not really a pen name. That's more of a birth name. Yeah, I guess pen name would be uh, Elton John, Eric Blair, and Orwell. So let's hope our three finalists see how this goes. Today are good with pen names. Here is your clue. This children's author. Considered using the anagrams Edgar Cuthwellis and Edgar U.C. Westhill for his pen name. 30 seconds. Good luck. Well, I see a white in there. And I see an E, so... Uh... Maybe one of the... Happiest moments of my childhood when I was really young, three or four, we went to the library and uh, Gareth Williams, who illustrated Charlotte's Web, was there and he signed my copy of Charlotte's Web and he uh, died soon after. Okay, well, so we'll see if this pans out. You were in third place with 9,400. Were you able to write anything down? Who is Dr. Seuss? No, you're on the right track, but it's going to cost you. Yes, Brian, you picked the children's author. You're on the right track. Let's go to Shane and Let's see how this goes. Did she come up with the correct response? Who is Lemony Snicket? No, you two are on the right track. And it'll, co oh, it'll cost you 10000 dropping you to 2400 That's enough. So yeah. we come to Tim Coates. He had 20900 And did he write anything down? No, he did not. And the correct response is Charles Ludwig Dodson, better known as Lewis... Carol. That's the response we were going for. Lewis Carroll. Wow. What did you lose? Just four times? That's nothing. Leave me sixteen thousand. Just wager four thousand, huh? I was actually hoping you'd do that in his daily double wager that amount. Yeah, did anyone out there actually know Lewis Carroll's birth name? If you did, good for you. Helped you there. But, uh, yeah, that's just a bad, that's just a bad clue. I'm supposed to get some sort of information out of that, and birth name is all you can do with it. Screw that. Well, glad I am not the only one who missed it, and uh, we'll see how that one pulls. My guess is this is going to be about 18% on J-Board. I was almost exactly right about what was the one. That was so hard, it was about 15% a couple months ago. I can't remember it, but sometimes it seems more frequent these days. The writers drop an egg like that. And uh, just happened to benefit Tim tonight because he had such a big lead. Well, he's got two, and uh, we'll have to see how he does tomorrow, Friday. I hope you'll join me then, right here on the final wager.